Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, we make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Here's a cute hoodie perfect for those chilly nights. It's small enough that you can layer it over a long t-shirt and still feel comfy, or wear it cropped if the weather's a bit toasty. Personally, I've been feeling the crop sweater over anything look. It's modern and it gives me a chance to wear my crop sweaters before springtime, which I'm always happy about. If you're happy with this piece, tell me all about it in the comments. And if you don't, that's okay too. Let me know what you like to see. I'm all ears. Now it's time for you to make a tree and leave. So without further ado, for this project, any category for yarn will work, but I used a total of 454 grams of yarn, and that's 1,020 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCTDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. Watch the end of the video to learn how to enter this week's giveaway. We're using six stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet. Double crochet. Treble crochet. And double treble crochet. This tutorial is written for a size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab the category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5mm hook and start off by making a chain of 14 because we're all starting with our cable detail. Now that we have our chain, you're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of two that counts as our turning chain. From here, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook, with a half double crochet. Let's do the next one. Yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over, pull through. Should have three loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all three. We're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every chain, we're going to be doing another row of half double crochets. So start that by doing a chain up of two. Flip our work. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch with one half double crochet, and put one half double crochet into every stitch. Now that we have our first two rows of half double crochets done, we're now going to get started on our third row, which is our first cable stitch row. So to start our row number three, do a chain up of two. That's our turning chains and flip our work. We're going to start by doing our small twists. So yarn over twice. That's us preparing for a front post double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into the second half double crochet that we have from our first half double crochet row. So we're going to skip over this first half double crochet then insert our hook behind this next half double crochet, keeping in mind that we are skipping over this chain of two. So one, two, insert your hook behind the body of that half double crochet. We're going to yarn over, pull through that post. We should have four loops on our hook, so we're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. That is our first front post double crochet. We're going to be doing one more front post double crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that next half double crochet. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And pull through two. And now for the twist, we're going to be doing another front post double crochet into that half double crochet that we have skipped. So yarn over one two times. Insert your hook into that first half double crochet, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Once we have that, we're going to be doing our dividing stitch, which is what we are going to be calling a pillar for video's sake, and that is always going to be a front post double crochet. 
So yarn over twice, into that next stitch, insert, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now that we have these four stitches done, we're now going to work on our middle cable. And that's going to start off by doing a set of two front post double treble crochets. So yarn over one, two, three times. We're going to skip the next two stitches from our first half double crochet row and insert your hook into that next. So skip one, skip two, insert your hook behind that next half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And we're going to be doing another front post double treble crochet into that next stitch because all of our middle cable stitches is worked in sets of two. So yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. And next we're going to be doing another set of two front post double treble crochets into those two stitches that we skipped. So start that off by doing a yarn over of one, two, and three. We're going to insert our hook into that first stitch that we skipped, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two, then one more into that last stitch that's available. So yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that stitch, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. We now have to do a set of two front post double crochets into the next two stitches to close off our middle cable section. So yarn over one, two times. Insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, Pull through two. Once more into that next stitch, so yarn over twice, insert your hook, pull through. Pull through two, two, and two. Now we are about to get started on our twist, but we do need to do our pillar in between our middle cable and our twist. So that's always going to be a front post treble crochet. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through. Pull through two, two, two. Now for our last twist, it's going to start off normally, and then for the last stitch, we're going to combine it with a half double crochet. So let's get that started. Start this off by doing a yarn over of one, two. Skip that next stitch and insert your hook into the next. Pull through, pull through two, two, and then two. One more front post treble crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over twice, insert, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now for this last stitch that we have, it's going to be another front post double crochet, but combined with a half double crochet to close off every cable stitch row. So we're going to start by yarning over twice. Insert your hook into that stitch that we skipped, pull through. We're going to keep pulling through two until we have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, pull through two, should have three loops, yarn over, pull through two. Now that we have two loops on our hook, we're going to yarn over, and then insert our hook into the last stitch from our previous row. So this is our last stitch from our previous half double crochet row. Insert your hook into there, yarn over, Pull through that stitch, and then we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops on our hook. And now our first cable stitch row, or our row number three, is finished. So from here to a chain up of two, flip our work, and we need to make our way over to the other side. So put one half double crochet into every stitch. We've just made our way all the way across with our half double crochet row. That was our fourth row, and now we're going to get started on our row number five for our second cable stitch row. So what we're going to do is do a chain up of two and flip our work. 
The twist plus our pillar is going to be the same for both ends, so let's get that started. We're going to start with a front post treble crochet into that second stitch from our previous cable stitch row. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that second stitch. So skip one, insert into two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. One more front post treble crochet into that next stitch. So yarn over twice, insert, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now for our twist, yarn over twice and bring our hook back to the first stitch that we skipped. Insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Our twist is finished. Now let's do our pillar. Yarn over twice, insert your hook into that stitch, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now to get started on our middle cable, we're going to start by doing a set of two front post treble crochets into those next two stitches. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into that next stitch, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Yarn over twice into that next stitch, insert your hook, pull through, pull through two, two, two. Now we're going to do a set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches right after the next two. So yarn over one, two, three times. Skip these next two stitches, insert your hook into that next, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. And we're going to do one more into that next stitch as well. So yarn over three times, insert, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. Now we're going to do another set of two front post double treble crochets going in through this window that we just made for ourselves. So let's get that started. We're going to start by doing a yarn over of one, two, three. And we're going to make sure that we are hanging on to our yarn because it can very easily fall off. And we're going to pull our work down and then try to find these two stitches in this window. So go ahead and pull your work down. And these are my two stitches right here. Here's one, here's two. Insert your hook into that first stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. Pull through two, pull through two. That's our first stitch. That's what it should look like. We have a little crossover now. We're going to do one more into that last stitch. So same deal. Yarn over one, two, three times. Hang on to your yarn. Pull your work down. Find that last available stitch. Insert your hook into there. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through two. Yarn over pull through two, pull through two, and pull through two. Now that is our middle cable. Now we're going to do our twist. Now we're going to do our pillar and our twist. But remembering the very last stitch is going to be combined with a half double crochet, just like our last cable stitch row. So let's get started with our pillar. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that next stitch. Pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now for our twist, yarn over twice. Skip the next stitch and then insert your hook into the stitch right after that one. Pull through. Yarn over, pull through two, two, two. One more front post treble crochet into that next stitch. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that last stitch. Pull through, pull through two, two, and two. Now to work into that last stitch, we're going to combine it with a half double crochet. So yarn over one, two times, insert your hook into that stitch that we skipped, yarn over, pull through, 
we're going to do a yarn over and pull through two until we have two loops left on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. We should have two loops left on our hook. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitch from our previous row. Yarn over, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook. From here, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Do a chain up of two, flip your work, and put one half double crochet into every stitch. All right, so we have just made our way all the way down with our half double crochet row. We should all have a total of six rows. From here, we're going to repeat rows three through six until we get the length of the shirt that we want. Keep in mind that we are going to place this at the base of our neck. If you guys need a refresher on how to do rows three or row five, those will be linked in the description. And continue with rows three through six until we get the length that we want. I'll show you guys how to start our next row just so you guys get the hang of it. So from here, we're going to work on row seven. Do a chain two and flip our work. Like I said before, the twist and the pillars are going to be done exactly the same way. So let's just do that set with each other. I'm going to start with a yarn over of two. Insert your hook into the second stitch from our previous cable stitch row. Just like that. Pull through. Pull through two, two, two. Yarn over twice into that next stitch. Pull through. Pull through two, two, two. Yarn over twice. Insert your hook into that stitch that we skipped. Pull through. Pull through two, two, two. And now our pillar is always going to be the same. So that is one front post treble crochet. And now that we are at our middle cable, do the same cable that we did for row number three. And keep repeating those rows. And I will meet you guys back after any cable stitch row. Back and I have the entirety of my cable stitch section all finished. I have a total of 39 rows. And this is about 13 inches or 33 centimeters. And now we're going to start working on our side panel. So from where we're at, we're going to do a chain up of one, which I already have done. And then from here, we're going to be putting one single crochet to two single crochet into every side half double crochet row. So let's get that started. This is my first side half double crochet row right here. So I'm going to insert my hook with one single crochet. This is my next side half double crochet. So I'm going to insert with two single crochet. We're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets. So let's do the next set. Into my next side half double crochet, there's one single crochet. Into my next side half double, there is my one and my two single crochets. We're going to repeat this all the way down to this corner. I've just single crocheted my way all the way down the side of my cable stitch detail, and we're going to get started on our next row, which is a back loop half double crochet row. So from where we're at, we're going to do a chain up of two. That's our turning chain and flip our work. And we're just going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitches back loop or the loop that's furthest away from us. Pull through, pull through three. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch and I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, so I have just done my row of back loop half double crochets and now we're going to go back to doing a single crochet row, but this is going to be in the back loops as well. So do a chain up of one, flip our work and let's get started. We're going to insert our hook into that first back loop with a single crochet. And that's pretty much it. Go ahead and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end of our row, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and then do a row of back loop half double crochets with no increases and no decreases. And we are going to repeat these two rows until this meets around mid shoulder. And I will meet you guys back ending on a half double crochet row. I am back with my side panel and I have a total of 16 rows. And from our first single crochet row, I have four and a half inches or 11 centimeters. We ended right after a half double crochet row, and now we're going to do our underarm portion. So go ahead and put this up to yourself, making sure that this is sitting on your shoulder. 
and we are going to insert our stitch marker into the stitch that's right where our underarm is. Mine is a total of 6 inches or 15 centimeters from the top, and by top I mean opposite from where my hook is, or that's the 25th stitch down. From here we're going to do our back loop single crochet row making our way up, leaving two stitches right before our stitch marker so that we can decrease together. We've single crocheted all the way up until we have two stitches right before our stitch marker, so let's do our decrease. We're going to insert our hook in through that second to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. We're next going to do our half double crochet row. So chain up two, flip our work, and we're going to start with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through. Next back loop, pull through. We should have four loops on our hook, so yarn over and pull through all four. Put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When we reach the end, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then one back loop single crochet into every stitch, doing a decrease into the last two stitches. And repeat these two rows until this reaches mid underarm, and I will meet you guys back so we can get started on the other front pant. And we look with my underarm portion. I just did an addition of two rows, so now I have a total of 18 rows for my first single crochet. And from here to here, it is a total of 5 inches or 13 centimeters. We're going to do the same thing that we did here, so I'm just going to show you guys where to insert your hook. On the other side of our cable stitch section, we're going to be inserting our hook into the corner that is opposite from our tail end. So I have already done mine, but since my tail end is up here, I'm going to insert my hook into this bottom corner and then repeat everything that we did. So the same amount of single crochets for our first row, same amount of rows, and the same amount of underarm rows, and then I'll meet back when your entire front panel is done. Alright you guys, so the entirety of my front panel is all finished. We're now going to get started on the back panel, and that's going to start with another cable stitch detail. I'm just going to talk you guys through it really quickly because it's going to be a repeat of our middle cable. So I'm going to set this off to the side and we can get started. So making a slip knot with your yarn, inserting your same size hook, we're all going to start off by making a chain of six. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain of two that counts as our turning chain. We're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet, and then into that chain that we blocked off for the third chain from our hook, insert with one half double crochet. You're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. Alright, so we have our first row of half double crochets. So chain two, loop our work, and do one more row of half double crochets. Now that we have our second row of half double crochets, let's get started on row number three or our first cable stitch row. So start that by doing a chain of two and flip your work. We're going to first skip the chain up of two from our first row of half double crochets and count one, two, three half double crochets and insert your first front post double treble crochet into there. So yarn over one, two, three. Insert your hook into that third half double crochet from row number one. Pull through. Pull through two, 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 and two. Let's do one more into that next stitch. Yarn over one, two, three times. Insert your hook. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through two, 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 and two. Now we're going to do another set of two front post double treble crochets into the two stitches that we skipped. So your number one, two, three times. Insert your hook into that first half double crochet, pull through, pull through two, 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 and two, and then once more into that last half double crochet. So your number three times. Insert your hook. Pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. Now we should have two stitches left. 
we're going to put one front post treble crochet into the next and then the next is going to be one front post treble crochet combined with a half double crochet so let's get that started yarn over twice into that second to last stitch insert your hook pull through yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two and then insert your hook into that last half double crochet pull through we're going to do a yarn over and pull through two until we have two loops on our hook so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two from here we're going to yarn over and then insert your hook into the last stitch that we have from our previous row yarn over pull through we now have four loops on our hook so yarn over and pull through all four loops and here do a chain up of two flip your work and put one half double crochet into every stitch we put one half double crochet into every stitch making our way down finishing off our fourth row now let's get started on our row number five or our second cable stitch row so just like before do a chain up of two and flip your work we're going to start by putting one front post treble crochet into the first two stitches so yarn over twice insert your hook into the first stitch from our previous cable stitch row pull through pull through two 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 once more insert pull through pull through two 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 and from here we're going to skip over these next two stitches and put a set of two front post double treble crochets into the next two so you're number one two three times insert your hook into that third stitch from our hook pull through pull through two 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 yarn over three times into that last stitch pull through pull through two 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 and now another set of two front post double treble crochets going in through that window into these stitches that we skipped so yarn over one two three times hang on to your yarn pull our work down and then find those two stitches that we skipped so here's my first and here's my second i'm going to insert my hook into that first stitch pull through pull through two 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 and that is my first crossover let's do our next one and this one is going to be combined with a half double crochet as well so start this off by yarn number one two three times we're going to pull our work down insert your hook into that last available stitch that we have yarn over pull through and just like before we're going to do a yarn over pull through two until we have two loops left on our hook so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two you should have two loops on our hook now so yarn over and then insert your hook into the last stitch from our previous row yarn over pull through four loops on our hook so yarn over and pull through all four of those loops And then from here do a chain up of two flip our work and then put one half double crochet into every stitch okay so we have just made our way across with our half double crochet row we should all have a total of six and from here we're going to repeat rows three through six until we have the same amount of rows as our front panel so if you guys need any of these timestamps, they will be in the description but I have a total of 39 rows, so I'm going to get my 39 rows ready and then I'll meet you guys back. Now that I have the same amount of rows as my front panel, I'm going to insert my stitch marker into the last row for our back panel. And I'm going to do that on both sides. We're inserting this here just so we know where to start our back panel when we get to it. But from here, we are going to continue on with our cable since this is going to be a part of our hood. So, Placing this last row at the base of our neck, we're going to continue with our cables until this reaches up and over our head. I'll meet you back to let you know how many rows I end up having and my measurements as well. I've continued with my cables till it reaches up and over my head. I have a total of 91 rows, and for my stitch marker row to the end, that's 18 inches or 46 centimeters, or a total of 31 inches or 70 centimeters. All right, so we are now going to get started on our side panel for our back. 
we're going to start by inserting a hook into the bottom corner of our back panel, making sure that the first row that we did is down towards us and the hood is faced away from us. And then from here, we're going to repeat all the same rows that we did for our front panel. So for the front panel, we're going to repeat the same side panel rows as our front panel, plus two rows to make up for the twists that we're skipping out on. So as an example, I had 16 side panel rows, so I'm going to be doing 18, and then my underarm rows, and it's going to be done the same way for both sides of our back panel. So go ahead and get both of those done, and then I'll meet you guys back. Alright, so the entirety of my back panel is all finished, and now we're going to single crochet along the top and up the cable stitch section that we have so that it's easier to connect. So since I already have this side done, what we're going to do is insert our hook into the corner stitch of the shoulder portion, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet row, and one single crochet into every side single crochet row. So let's get that started. This first row that we should have is a side half double, so we're going to insert with two single crochets. So there is one, and then into that same side row, there is two. This is my next side row, which is a side single crochet row, so insert with just one, and into the next side half double crochet, two single crochets, and then into the next side single, there's one. We're going to keep doing this all the way until we reach this corner. And then once we reach the cable stitch section, we're going to be doing this the same way that we have done the other side cable stitch sections. So we're going to be inserting between one to two single crochets into every side half double crochet row, making our way all the way up. And we don't have any more stitches left. We're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. So I single crocheted across the top and up the hood for my back panel on both sides. And now we're going to do the same thing for the front panel. So we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch, insert your yarn onto your hook, and just like for the back panel, we're going to be putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet row, one single crochet into every side single crochet row, and then we make our way on top of our cable stitch section, one single crochet into each of these stitches. When we reach this corner, do a chain of one and cut. Now that we have single crocheted across the tops of both of our panels, we're now ready to seam our shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to place the front panel and the back panel on us. We are going to pinch on the outsides of our neck, making sure that the hole that we've made for ourselves can fit over our head. Once we have that, go ahead and insert your stitch markers. And I've inserted my stitch marker into the 16th stitch from the edge. And then from here, I'm going to seam them together. And right before we get started with that, we're going to make sure that our cable stitch sections are faced in on each other because we want the seam to be on the inside of our piece. So we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitches of both the front and the back panel. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through to a chain up of one to secure. And we're just going to single crochet both panels together. So inserting your hook into that first stitch into the front panel. And then into that next stitch into the back panel, we're going to single crochet. Let's do just one more. Insert your hook into that next stitch into the front panel, then also into the next stitch into that back panel, and then single crochet. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until I reach my stitch marker, and then do a chain of one and cut, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. Alright, so we are now ready to get started on our sleeve. We are first going to start by inserting our hook into the corner stitches that we have into both the front and the back panel right where the underarm ends right over here. And then making sure that both loops are on our hook, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and then do a chain of one to secure. And then we're going to single crochet around our sleeve. So into each of our side rows, we're going to be putting one single crochet into each of those. Since I only have two side rows, I'm going to find that first side row, which is this half double crochet. I'm going to single crochet once into there. And then my next side row is a single crochet. I'm going to insert my hook and single crochet into there. And then from here, we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch, making our way up and over. And then once we get to this side, 
we have more side rows, so put one single crochet into each of those. Slip stitch into that chain one space, and then I'll meet you back. Now that we have our first single crochet row done, now we're going to start on our decreases, because this needs to fit nice and snug around our arm. So after our slip stitch, we're going to do a chain of a one and flip our work. We are all going to start with a decrease of two back loop single crochets. Now to get started on our decrease of two back loop single crochets, we're going to insert our hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through. Into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three. From here, we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch for the same amount of side rows that we have on this side. So since I only have two side rows right here, I'm going to put one back loop single crochet into the next two stitches. So insert with one and then with two. From here, I'm going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the same amount of single crochet stitches that we did over here, plus two more for the decrease. So since I have two back loop single crochets, I'm going to leave a total of four stitches. All right, so we have put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and we have left one, two, three, and four stitches. So from here, I'm going to do my two back loop single crochets. So there's one, there's two, and now we're going to decrease into the last two stitches. So I'm going to insert into that second to last back loop, pull through, last back loop, pull through, pull through three, and then we're going to slip stitch into that chain one space. And from here, we're going to chain one, flip our work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. So we are only going to be decreasing into the rows that have the half double crochets into it. So let's just get this next row started. Into that first available back loop, go ahead and insert your hook with one single crochet. And we're just going to repeat these two rows until this gets nice and snug around our arm and until this line becomes horizontal when it's worn. I'll meet you guys back so that you guys know how many rows I end up doing and what we're going to do after that. All right, so I am back and I have a total of 17 rows. I ended on my single crochet row and now we're going to lengthen our sleeve. So all we're gonna do is switch between one back loop half double crochet row and one back loop single crochet row. So let's just get that half double crochet row started with each other. Since my last row was a single crochet row and I've slip stitched into that chain up of one space, all I'm gonna do is now do a chain up of two and I will flip my work. And all we're going to do is put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Slip stitch into that second stitch, do a chain up of one, flip your work, and then put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And from here, we're going to alternate between these last two rows until we're ready to decrease just around our elbow area. So I'll meet you guys back right after a single crochet row. All right, I have lengthened my sleeve all the way down to my elbow and I have a total of 35 rows. I ended on a back loop single crochet row and we're going to do our first decrease row together into our half double crochet row. So to start our half double crochet row off, do a chain up of two, flip our work, and let's start with our decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, that next back loop, pull through, Yarn over, pull through four. Once we have our first decrease, we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the outside of our sleeve over here. All right, now that I have reached the outside of my sleeve, it is directly opposite from my first decrease. We're going to do our second decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next back loop, pull through, into that next back loop, pull through, Pull through all four and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Slip stitch into that second chain that we made. Do a chain up of one, flip your work, and put one back loop single crochet into every stitch. And we're going to decrease into the rows that we need to decrease into. So I'm going to have a total of 60 rows. I'm going to decrease into my 36th row, which is the one that we're doing right now, into my 42nd and 58th row, and I'll meet you guys back. I'm back with my sleeve and I have my total of 60 rows. We're now going to work on our cuff. 
So from where we're at, we're going to start off by making a chain the length that we want them cuffed to be. I want mine to be about 4.5 inches or 12 centimeters, so that's going to be a chain of 20. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain up of 3. That counts as our turning chain. From here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet, which is a yarn over. Then insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the fourth chain from our hook with a double crochet. So insert, pull through. We should have three loops on our hook, yarn over, pull through two, and put one double crochet into every chain. All right, so we are back and we have just made our way all the way around with our cuff and now we're going to seam it. So the first thing that we're gonna need to do is slip it inside out so that our seam is along the inside. Now that our cuff is slipped, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch into the front panel, in corner stitch, into the back panel, yarn over, pull through everything, and we're going to single crochet both panels together. So let's do the first one. Insert your hook into that first available stitch, into the front, then next available stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet it together the same way that we did for the shoulders. We're going to repeat this, making our way all the way down, and we don't have any more stitches left. Do a chain up of one and cut. Once we've done that, go ahead and do the same thing that we did here for this sleeve and cuff on the other side. All right, so both of my sleeves are done and we're now going to get started on our hood. So the first thing we're going to do is insert our stitch markers into the stitches that's right above our pillars or our dividing stitch into the cables. And just to make sure that we have the correct amount of numbers, we want to have six stitches in between our stitch markers because that is for our cable. And right before we get started on our hood, we're going to have to section off the top of our hood. So doing this together, we're going to make sure that our work is slipped right side up and having the hood faced away from us. We're all going to take a look at our right stitch marker that's into our collar. We're going to count towards the left the amount of stitches that we have until we reach the base of our cable stitch detail. I have a total of 30 stitches here. So along the top, from the bottom corner, I counted down 30 and inserted my stitch marker. We should have the same amount of stitches from our left stitch marker over to the base of our cable stitch section. So I did the same thing on the other side and now we can get started. So getting started on the left side of my hood, I'm going to insert my hook into the front loop of my right stitch marker stitch, making sure we're not going in through both. So in through there, I'm going to insert my yarn onto my hook pull through and do a chain up of three. From this stitch marker to the stitch marker, we're going to be inserting with one front loop double crochet into every stitch. So we're going to have a total of six. So yarn over, insert your hook in through that front loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, yarn over, insert into that front loop, pull through. Continue to put one front loop double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. And now that we have made our way all the way down to our stitch marker, we're now going to put one double crochet into every stitch until we reach the base of our neck. So yarn over, insert, and I'll meet you back at the base of our cable stitch section. All right, so now that we are along the back, I have just inserted my last double crochet into my last stitch right here, and now we're going to connect it into the cable detail. So from here, we're going to count up one, count up two, slip stitch into that second stitch to close this first row. Slip stitch up the next two stitches to work our way up to the next row and flip our work. Put one back loop double crochet into every stitch from here. So yarn over, insert your hook into that first back loop, pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And then we're going to continue to do rows of back loop double crochets, connecting it into the base the same way that we just did. We're going to keep doing that all the way up until we reach our stitch marker, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I am back with the rows for my hood. I've done my back loop double crochets all the way up until I reach my stitch marker, and now we're going to seam it from the stitch marker onward to the top of our piece. So what we're going to do is take the cable stitch section, making sure that it's faced up towards us. We're actually going to fold it down 
in a diagonal like this, so that when we seam it and flip it inside out, the seam will be all on the inside. What we're going to do is insert our hook into the corner stitch, into both the front and back panel. I want to pull through, do a chain above one to secure. Now let's just do this single crochet seam together just a few times. Insert your hook into that next stitch, into the front panel, next stitch, into the back panel, single crochet, once more, next stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, single crochet. We're going to keep doing this all the way down until we don't have any more stitches left. Then I'll show you guys how to start our next row and then we can move on from there. Alright, we have just finished up seaming the left side of the hood. So now we're going to get started on the right side. So for the right side, it's going to be done pretty much the same way. So we're going to start by flipping our work upside down. Now, since we started our left side into this stitch marker, we're going to start our right side into this stitch marker. So go ahead and insert your hook. Insert my yarn onto my hook. Pull through, do a chain up of three. And then from here, it's going to be a complete repeat of this side. So put one double crochet into every stitch all the way around, attaching it into the base the same way that we just did. And then once we make it all the way up to our stitch marker, seam it to the hood, and then I will meet you guys back. All right, so I've just finished the second half of my hood. Everything is seamed up. And we are ready to single crochet around the edge to clean it up. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into the first double crochet row that we have into the side of it. Insert our yarn onto our hook. Pull through, do a chain up of one. And then all we're going to do is put two single crochets into every side double crochet row, making our way all the way up and back down. We don't have any more rows left to go into. Slip stitch into the base, and then do a chain up of one and cut. All right, now that we have finished single crocheting around the entirety of our hood, we're now going to work on our bottom band. So what we're going to do is insert our hook into our corner stitch, insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and then we're going to alternate between two single crochets into every side half double and one single crochet into every single crochet. We're going to keep doing that, going all the way down, and I'll meet us back at this corner. Now that we have single crocheted across the bottom of our piece, we're going to do a chain up of 10 because I want my bottom band to be about 2 inches or 10 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain up of 3, that's our turning chain, and we're going to yarn over, preparing for a double crochet. We're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off with the first chain from our hook with a double crochet and keep putting one double crochet into every chain. Now that we put one double crochet into every chain, we're now going to slip stitch into the second stitch into our base. So count one, count two. Slip stitch into that second stitch to close off our first row. And then to work our way up to the next row, we're going to slip stitch up the next two stitches as well. So there's one, there's two. Flip our work and put one back loop double crochet into every stitch. We reach the end, do a chain up of three, flip our work, and put one back loop double crochet into every stitch, connecting into the base the same way that we just did. And repeat these two rows until we don't have any more stitches left, and then do a chain up one and cut. And we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. All right, and now that we have finished our bottom band, we're now going to seam our side together. This is going to be the last thing we do, so go ahead and insert your hook into the two stitches that we have nearest to our underarm making sure that our work is flipped wrong side out. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, we're just going to single crochet into both the front and back panel. So insert your hook into that first stitch into the front panel, first stitch into the back panel, and single crochet. And keep doing this all the way down. Do a chain up of one and cut when we reach the end, and then do the same thing that we did here on the other side. And now that we have seamed our sides, we are all done. Go ahead and weave in all of our ends. So we're woven in and we are all done. 
Y'all know my love for cables and hoodies, and this top is extra special because we decided to incorporate both. And all I can say is that I'm really, really, really excited to see a remix of it, so please don't forget to tag us on Instagram so we can show you guys to our highlights. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us what your favorite stitch is. Good luck to everyone who enters. Also, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up because believe it or not, it actually helps. And be sure to share us on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook. Those links are down below. Links to our Etsy page is down there too if you want to buy this piece or any other piece on the channel. And be sure to favorite the shop so you don't miss out on new patterns and exclusive deals. As always, y'all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.